Janae. How's it going? Good, thank you. How are you? Great to hear from you. Uh, your fight with Liam McCourt was one of the first uh, casualties of the whole coronavirus pandemic. You know, it was one of those things where maybe something was going to be worked out by May, evidently not even close. Um, mm. Now you're, you're fighting Jesse Mila. Do you think that fight with Liam McCourt is ever going to happen? And, and are you hoping to get that fight? 100%. And I know that uh, in interviews, she's also said that she would love to honor it. So I think it's something that after she comes back from her surgery, um, we can definitely figure out a, a date that best suits the both of us and, a, and a hopefully also a location. I guess with everything at the moment, it's kind of hard to figure out. I really don't think the UK will be an option. And after, I guess, the Italy and France, it, she may have to come over to the States and I'll meet her here. Um, but whatever we can do, I know that we're both keen for that matchup. So if we can, hopefully early 2021, that will be awesome. I'm not super clued in with all of the political goings on in, in Australia, but I do understand the travel, air travel is, is not exactly the easiest thing to come by. Getting from Sydney or from particularly Victoria to the States, not so, not so easy. Can you talk us through uh, how exactly you were able to get to Mohegan Sun for this fight? Yeah, I mean, East Coast especially. Um, I mean, I, I much prefer fighting on the West Coast as a little bit of a shorter leg, but mm -hmm. but I have fought the Mexican Sun before, so I, I kind of, it was Sydney to LA, LA to Boston, and then we had to drive down two hours. So it was a little bit of travel. I mean, all up at, from the point that I left my house to the point that I walked into my hotel room, it was about 31 hours. Um, so obviously that kind of puts me behind, but at the same time, this is my fifth fight time fighting in the States. I'm almost used to it. I kind of know the tricks of the trade. I'm, I'm pretty well traveled in general, um, living in the UK and living in Asia a little bit as well. So I kind of know what to expect and I just sort of take it with the gig. It, it is what it is. It's part of fight week now and, and we just get it done. It's been a pretty uh, crazy time in Australia. I understand that different parts of the country have more severe lockdowns than others. Um, what, what have your, like, your family and stuff been making of, of, uh, of that? And, and were they in any way concerned about you getting on a plane, going to... Uh, you know, America, where there's, you know, a, a, a huge amount of cases. Was, what's, uh, what's that been like for you? Yeah, I mean, like, they almost stressed more than I did. Like, <laughs> I was just like, I just want to fight. Like, I, I, I don't really care where it is. And if, like, the whole place is ridden with COVID, I'll figure it out. But, um, but of course, like, once I got over here, I really understood the substantial difference between Australia and um, the U.S. and the way of cases. I mean, I was coming from Sydney. I think when I left, there was only, like, two cases in all of our state, let alone um, coming over here and just knowing how, how much more prominent it is. It's sort of just like... I guess like, and the really average thing is that I'm from Queensland. I'm currently in New South Wales. So um, unfortunately the Queensland borders were closed for so long. So I couldn't even see my mom. I haven't seen her in maybe like six months or so just because I haven't been able to pay for like quarantining in both areas and, and spending a month of my life in hotel rooms. So um, of course she's been concerned. And then I guess it's heightened because we haven't been able to see each other. So I'm just hoping that, yeah, once I come back, we also have our elections going on at the moment. Things may change. It's kind of at that point where we're really lowering our COVID cases. So by the time I come back, I'll be able to go home and, and see my mom and see my family and kind of, I guess, de-stress them from all my traveling and what I do.